Hey guys, so today we're with another video. Um, so I think most of you guys seen, well, if you're subscribed, most of you seen my last video. It was on Alpine Slides. Then the one before that was Mount Rushmore. So go check out those. Um, I still have them for more videos. I officially have six, six videos. <laughs> it's not a lot. Um, okay, so today we're going to be doing traveling tips. So, um, I had, I live in Belgium, and I've had a very long flights, like super long. So I've had eight hour flight, that, that flight was eight hours here, then a two hour flight, then a one hour flight. It's miserable, and um, I just want to help you guys with some ways to prevent that. So, um, let's start off with time. So, um, time, you always want to have a watch. If you're just traveling by yourself, by yourself, yes, you need a watch. But if you're like a kid like me, I mean, your parents are worried about that stuff. It's, it's never really a problem. But if you're traveling by yourself, take a watch. Um, a working one, make sure you can change the time very easily to wherever you are. Because time changes so much if you're going from uh, country to countries. Definitely have a watch that you can switch time easily. Um, next, we're going to talk about medical medical um if you like need a wheelchair or something like that that's awesome because then you get like best seat probably in the house sometimes like my mom busted her foot one time and she had to go in the very back of the plane we don't know why but um most times you get to go in the very front which is best i feel um so yes and always for just in your backpack, always just have a medical, you know, those little miniature medical packs, band-aids, alcohol wipes, all that stuff. So, you're always safe. Um, then, bathroom. So, make sure make sure you have one roll of toilet paper. Um, hand sanitizer because of the whole pande pandemic. Pandemic, yeah. <laughs> I need to look that up on the dictionary. So, yeah, toilet paper roll. Um hand sanitizer, toilet seat covers, just make sure you have those things, and then backpack. Um, these, I'm put, I'm saying t tons of stuff, like kind of backwards, sorry about that, I didn't really, you know, plan. Um, <laughs> so backpack, so you want to try and at least keep, instead of having a whole little miniature carry-on, it's miserable having that, so Mo like I recommend a smaller backpack if you're just by yourself try have like one backpack it's not it's not worth it to have a whole little mini carrier um if if you don't have enough room in your backpack get at least a bigger backpack it's so miserable with the suitcase next um mask so you want a mask that you can have the filters in so you can still breathe through it because we went through the whole airport with masks on, and it's so hard to breathe, it's almost impossible. So make sure you want to have a mask all times. Um, don't get sick. I mean, you don't want to get sick. Just make sure it has those little filters on each side so you can actually breathe. Next, food. So don't bring any fruit or oh, any of that stuff. Like, um, if you guys heard of brand banana bread, that's a good one. Um, jerky, you can have that. Um, there's so many things, uh, well, hi, Chanel. Sorry, that's my aunt, dog, aunt's dog. Chanel, come here. Chanel. Come here. Hi, baby. Come here. Fine, leave me. <laughs> um, okay, so yeah, food, uh, jerky, jerky sticks are best, I think, for snacks. You might want to pack Cheetos. Those are good. Um, Cheez-Its. Um, yeah, that stuff that they won't you won't get in trouble for having. So clothing next is um, a big one. So depending where you're going, let's say I'm going to Florida. It's very hot there. I'm going to want to wear sweatpants, even though it's very hot. Because planes, you it's super cold in there. So. Um, 
not a long sleeve though. I would wear a t-shirt if you're going to Florida, um, from like Europe or something. But wear stuff as like your comfiest clothes, like almost like pajamas, but obviously not pajamas. But yeah, so that's good uh, for clothes. If you're going somewhere cold, it's pretty simple. Just wear your cold gear, um, normal clothes, like maybe like just sweatpants, t-shirt, um, under your big vest stuff for the cold. Next, uh, earplugs. So also you don't. For me, I have a big problem with the altitude, so when your ears pop, that's so annoying, so what I would not do, well, I would do it, I would get the earplugs, they're like clear, like clay looking stuff, just like clear, squishy stuff in a little box it's for swimming, but you could also use that, um, you, and for when you're on the plane and you're above altitude already, you might want to get the squishy ear, uh, earplugs that they, they might give you. If it's a long flight, they might give you them. Um, but they're like blue if you go on Delta or something like that. And you just put them here for sound. Um, but to help with the ear popping, you can also chew gum. That really helps. Um, I When we're landing, you also have the ear pops and your stomach gets woozy. I just hum like... The whole, like as deep as I can and as loud as I can. No one's going to hear it. It's just the whole engine's roaring. No one's going to hear it. So I would find that best um, to like focus your mind on something else and just to it, it, for some reason it's so weird, but it just really helped me on my flight. Um, next, lightweight. You want to um, you want to keep everything light, so you're not like carrying like fifty pound bag through the whole airport, that's, like, miserable. I've done it before, and you you get so tired, you just want to sit all the time. It's pretty bad carrying something heavy. So then, make sure, next, with your electronics. So if you have a laptop, iPad, whatever electronic, that needs to go in your bag, because um, most likely you're going to have your phone in your pocket, keep those at the nearest pocket that's accessible, like, because you're going through security, it takes, like, you don't want to back up the whole line, so just keep it in the nearest pocket. That makes it easy to take it out and take it out, even in the plane. You gotta put it under your seat and make sure you don't bother the guy next to you, so just pull it out, take it out easily. It's so, it's little stuff, but it just helps a lot. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm trying to think what else you guys need. Yeah, there's not much else. Um, those are traveling tips, guys. Please tell me uh, anything else I missed in the comments. Um, I probably did miss some things. Ah, yes. Keep your passport in a safe place, please. We don't not want we don't want anyone stealing your stuff. So keep it. Uh, I don't know because you also need it accessible. So keep it somewhere safe, like your wallet that could be pickpocketed pocketed so you don't know if that's you know you don't know if that can so I wouldn't recommend putting it in your pocket if you're with a big group your family or something have them all in the same place don't spread them out thinking that oh if they take one they're not gonna find all the other ones just keep them on one big place like a bag like a you know pencil bags something like that um you, like think of the safest place as you're traveling um and yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So, also, if you're traveling with a dog, you're just going to have to ask me to do another video on that. That's it's hard enough traveling by yourself. It's sad because we, my family, weren't, we weren't able to take our dogs. And we had to leave them with our neighbors. Oh, I miss them so much. Um, But, yeah, so, I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, so, this was a longer video. I'm sorry about that, guys. You know, um, I just can't tell if you guys like long videos or short videos. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. Comment down below what I missed. Um, like and subscribe. Go check out my other videos. Those are, I just added some more music to my, more of my videos. So, they sound a lot better. So, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.